There's wood shop. I want to share something else that I've done with this camper. Um, some of you have been following it along. It's a great rolling toolbox. I have a 20 foot extension ladder that fits on the two tables that I put on either end. I put a like a 36 inch and a, about a 15 inch on the other end. Um, and it stabilized the corners really well. And one of my problems a lot of times is when I'm doing a project here at the farm, um, I don't have a way of locking things down and up. So this is a perfect way of doing it. Um, you can do a project for a while before you have to put everything back. But I wanted another pop-up camper. Um, and once I get one, I'll share with you what I'll do with that. It will be the permanent rolling toolbox. And the colors, I'll paint it. I'll share that later on. Um, but right now, I put enough money into one, and I figured I may as well use it for two things. Uh, one for a vendor table at a show, and also for tools. So what I'm going to do is arrange the tools in boxes that can be removed when I have a show to do uh, right now, and then put it back in when I'm working on something around here. It'll make things so much easier. I wish I had it last year. It would have been so much more convenient. Um, and I really have a problem with the pickup. Um, the pickup is much higher. I can use this as a workbench with no problem. I'll put a small um, vice, um, a, uh, a vice on here that I can remove when I'm not using it and then use it as a vendor table. Um, and maybe uh, put a small little backing on the back of that to hang some tools and stuff. So I have a lot of different ideas, again, uh, for it, but it is really a neat way that you can sit for a little bit, relax, get out of the sun if you're working on outside. Um, you can pull it wherever you need to, especially here at the farm. I can pull it up to any of the buildings that I'm working on. The other nice thing about it, because it's 12 foot long, I can actually lay um, sheets of plywood either on the table, and it will still clear if I go to pick it up. Um, and secure it there or just put it on the floor. Uh, I still have at least eight, 10 feet, uh, about 10 feet from one end to the other from underneath the table over uh, that I can actually put some sheets of plywood if I decide to go buy some stuff. I can just take the whole thing with me and fill it up and then I'll have it where I don't have to retake it out of the pickup and put it back in here. Another plus for this is that I can actually keep things dry. You know, I'm not worried about the weather so much. I have a couple of tarps that go at the end in case it rains or it starts to rain. I can kind of close it up a little bit before I roll it down and I can lock it. That's the beauty of it. I can lock it. Everything can stay put. I'm going to put a couple saws in here yet. Um, there's a, a table, not a table saw, but a chop saw that I can put in here. Um, and that will work very well. Just put it on the floor, and when I'm ready to use it, just put it up here on the counter. This is very, 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 very solid. Uh, pretty neat way. So if you're a handy person, and you do a lot of handyman stuff around the around your house, around your properties, or property, um, this might be a real good way of keeping st stuff out of the garage, keeping it all in one place, and knowing that it's in here. You know, my problem is I have one building, I have another building, and sometimes I use the tools on one side, and then I drag it to the other side, and um, it drives me nuts. So, um, uh, that's that's the key. I was going to do this with the pickup, but the pickup with the lift has too much weight on it, and this can hold about 2,000 pounds, maybe 3,000 pounds plus. So, I am not worried about uh, taking this down the road. It's roadworthy, it's safe to do so, and I can just hook it up to the pickup and move it wherever I need to for a while. So that's my idea, and I think uh, it has a dual purpose, so it, it uh, definitely will, will be a, uh, a good added feature here at the farm. One thing I will do is uh, secure the, the lift portion. Um, I'm going to get a couple of 2x4s that I can set underneath here and put a velcro band around it then i can just rest the roof on that and just to take some of the weight off the cables 
but uh, there isn't any air conditioning on top or anything like that so um, I think it will work just great so it's another idea uh, for you guys to use a pop-up you can find them uh, they're getting a little harder to find uh, and you know I paid so much for that little title and tags for it um, as much as I paid for the trailer, uh, that's just Pennsylvania. Um, you know, that's just the way it works here in PA. But anyway, um, that's what it looks like. I think it'll work out just absolutely fantastic. This is an idea I had for a while. I was going to get another pop-up for it, but I thought I put enough money into this one and uh, to make some use out of it instead of just using it for shows. All right, folks, take care. Bye-bye.